What's up guys, my name is DJ Swivel and I'd love to introduce you to my brand new plugin, Noctonal. Noctonal is a note-based resonance enhancer. Simply put, it allows you to tune your drums without the need for destructive repitching. But rather than me explaining it, why don't I just show you what it does. The first thing you'll notice when you load up Noctonal is you'll be brought to an activation window. Now you have a few options here. You can run a free 14 day trial by hitting the try button, or you can enter your 28 digit license code and activate the product. In this case, we've activated the product and it'll bring you right to our beautiful UI. There's two primary sections to the Noctonal plugin. There's a subtractive EQ with its controls in the upper right corner, and there's an additive resonance EQ with its controls in the bottom left corner. These are designed to both remove unwanted resonances with the subtractive EQ, and then go ahead and boost the wanted resonances with the additive EQ. Now that we've gone over the two primary sections of Noctonal, let's talk about what each of the controls does. Now, if you're ever confused over what any knob or button does, simply hover your mouse for a few seconds and you'll get a hint telling you exactly what that control is used for. Okay, so first thing, let's start with the subtractive EQ on Noctonal. As mentioned before, there are four controls in the upper right corner which allow you to control exactly which resonance signal you're removing from your original drum sample. In addition to the four controls in the upper right corner, you also have a note bubble here which you can move around, select the note, and you'll see on the keyboard at the bottom of the plugin the corresponding note light up. In our case right now, F sharp. And we'll remove about 15 dB of F sharp and sometimes you need to do this on drum signals that already have existing resonances built into them. Now, as with most EQs, just like you have a frequency control or a boost or attenuation control, you also have a Q control for bandwidth, as you can see here, as well as an overtones control, which controls how much of the harmonic overtones are being removed from the signal. Now, let me show you the subtractive EQ in action. I've got a rim shot sound here, and it's got a baked in resonance at the F sharp note. Let's have a listen to it. As you can see on the spectrometer, right around F sharp where our note bubble is, you can see a peak. And this is telling us that there is a resonance there creating that tonality and that note in the drum sound. Let's remove it. Now that we've removed it and we've pulled out about 20 dB of that resonance note, now we have a flat signal that retains all of the original characteristics of the sound, the transients, the tails, the texture, but now we can add new resonances with our additive EQ. Now let's talk about the resonance EQ built into Noctonal. This is where the plugin really shines. It allows you to select a note and push the resonances as well as the harmonics to enhance the musicality of any drum sound. There's a few ways to select the note in this case. The first way is by using the keyboard at the bottom of the plugin. In this case, if we want to enhance C3, we simply click C3. And you'll notice the note bubble will jump over. You can also simply just drag and move the note bubble just like you did with the subtractive EQ. In this case, we're gonna land on C. Now let's talk about the additional controls built into Noctonal. First up is the link button. By default, the link button is on and it essentially removes control over your focus knob. What this does is it locks the center frequency to whatever note you have chosen using the additive EQ. If you turn the link button off, now you have this focus slider which allows you to control where and which resonances are being pushed most. This is really useful if you want to push some of the harmonic resonances, but less of the root note. In this case, we're going to leave the link button on. The range slider controls how much of the overtones are being pushed. If we want to push more of the overtones, we boost the range. And if we want to lower it, we simply lower it. As with any EQ, the Q controls your bandwidth. In this case, we're controlling the bandwidth of each and every resonance and overtone. The more you narrow the cue, the more resonance tail will be pushed. 
This is really great and useful if you want to convert kicks into 808s. This is one of the highlights of Nocturnal, is taking your short, subby kicks and turning them into big, fat 808s. Now let me show you an example of how I can convert a kick drum into an 808. Now I've done this with automation, but the only controls we have is the gain control and the bandwidth control, as well as the note control. Here we go. The band slider controls how many bands of overtones are being pushed. By default we have it set to 10, but you can lower this down to 1, or push it to as many as 30. With the blend control, just to the right of the band's control, you have control over the even and odd harmonics. When it's at center, it's controlling both and pushing both. To the left or to the right will control whether you're pushing the even or odds. This can be incredibly useful as it changes the tonality of the signal depending on whether you lean towards the even or the odd harmonics. There's a number of ways that you can control the notes on both the subtractive and additive resonance EQs. You can control it statically by setting the note and leaving it, which is useful in cases where you want your snare drum or your kick drum to glue into the tone and the key of the song. But in other times, you wanna create melodic changes with your drums. And that can be done dynamically in two ways. The first way is through automation, which you would control any way that you would control any other plugin using your DAW's automation. The other way is by using MIDI input. And Nocturnal has two different channels of MIDI input. Channel one controls your additive resonance EQ, and MIDI channel two controls your subtractive EQ. So you can control both the subtractive and the additive resonance EQ, both of them dynamically, depending on which signal you're working with, and in some cases, that's absolutely necessary. So to create this sound, I start by simply programming the rim shot with the rhythm I want. Now we can run MIDI to Nocturnal to control which notes the resonance EQ is gonna push. In this case, I have a MIDI loop here that I've created, and it's running to MIDI channel one, which is gonna control the resonance EQ and which note it lands on. Now let's listen to what I've created. Now we've turned a simple rim shot into a really cool and beautiful melodic rim, which can be used as a lead melody on any type of song you want. And what's really great about this method of changing the melody and tuning of your drums is it sounds completely different than repitching the sound. Your transients sound the same, the texture sounds the same, the tail of the drum sounds the same, but the notes change and it creates this really musical way of adjusting the pitch of your drums. And it's not necessarily better or worse than re-pitching your samples, but it's different. And sometimes in music, you want control and you want to sound different. Nocturnal helps you sound different. So now that we've gone over the meat and potatoes of Nocturnal, now let's talk about some of the other added features which help round out this amazing plugin. First up is the display scale. Right now we're set to 36 dB, but you can change this to 12 dB or 24 dB. And what's amazing is it will dynamically change as you adjust your resonance gain value. If I push the gain above 24 dB, we'll jump right to 36 dB dynamically. Another amazing feature of Nocturnal is the built-in limiter. When you're pushing resonances, 12, 24, or even 36 dB, sometimes you can get an unruly signal and push past zero, and this creates unwanted distortion. By building in a limiter, we prevent any unwanted distortion, so you can push your signal as loud as you want, and it will sound smooth and clean through and through. Additionally, we have an output knob, which is used as a gain stage to control your signal if desired. And finally, we've added resizability into Nocturnal. This is our very first plugin to incorporate resizability, and it's simple. In the bottom right corner, just drag this arrow, and all of a sudden, you have a much larger, richer experience with Nocturnal. And that is Nocturnal. 
If you need help getting your drum sounds to fit nicely in the mix, you want to convert your short kicks into 808s, you want to create these really unique melodic drum phrases, Noctonal is the plugin for you. Get your free trial today or buy it now on DJSwivel.com for only $69.